Hi YouTubers, Dave out Western Pennsylvania, USA. This is one of the ways that I uh, measure internal resistance. I prepare thin film polyelectrolyte membranes and uh, corresponding gels from chitosan, carboxymethyl starch, gelatin, and other materials and I focus on cross-linking and their performance. So I have a beaker, cotton on the top, a couple of graphite rods as electrodes from uh, burning pencils, small 3 to 5 volt DC motor. So I've got the current flowing through that gel and I want to see how it holds up as I run a rechargeable 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery. So I have my power bank there and uh, this started out fully charged and I have a, uh, a essentially a charge doctor Kawisi, you can get them on eBay and I can get the voltage 4.97 volts and uh, it's running at about 170 milliamps it varies That'll be important to watch that in amp hours. So I have that hooked up so I can see. Now what is this gel electrolyte? There is some water in there, but it's saturated poly sodium acrylate, diaper, diaper uh, content, right? And that gel is mixed up with carboxymethyl cellulose. I have a YouTube video and my website has information on how to prepare that from uh, water soluble starch. I may have called it cellulose. I do that a lot. Carbo uh, carboxymethyl starch. And uh, I'm running various materials. Now, of course, for demonstration, you could put pure water, water with salt, and begin to uh, observe uh, the uh, conductivity through your various uh, electrolyte solutions. And I have a meter that measures internal resistance, and I'll be monitoring that too and uh, I'll upload a video on it and as I said I'll let this run down I'll recharge it I want to run about five or ten cycles and I want to see how this electrolyte holds up if it starts to decompose and of course I want a material as an electrolyte that won't leak water and leach out water I'm trying to go with gel based materials and this electrolyte should be and is conducting charge current across the gap so uh, what I will do is also hook this up. I have a, a probe for voltage and one for current so I can actually keep records and uh, have it on my uh, laptop. I'll be uploading all of this information. But you could use this, use this setup in a number of ways and uh, I'll keep you posted on how these perform. I've got a whole bunch that I'm preparing and analyzing. And the thin films, well, I'll show you how I use those, too. I'll wrap it around the graphite and uh, see how well it conducts. Thanks for watching, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye now.